Let me show you something strange with a deck of cards. Memorize this card for me. And here's what's weird. I discovered I don't have to look through the cards anymore. I don't have to try and guess what it is. All I have to do is close my eyes and hope for the best. And sometimes the card just appears. Very, very strange, but a lot of fun to do. So let's learn how that is done right now. Okay, let's walk through the technique step by step. Step number one is the grip. And yes, you've guessed it, it's the mechanics grip. For anyone brand new to Magic, the mechanics grip is simply holding the deck in your weak hand, so in my case, the left one. The thumb is on the left side of the deck, index finger up front, and then we get the remaining three fingers on the right side. Now the key is here not to hold the deck sort of in a gorilla grip like this, you wanna have it very relaxed and loose, okay? Now this is the position that we wanna end up in for the flick, okay? So how do we get here? Very simply, we're gonna push the card down on an angle. So we're gonna use our thumb, and we're gonna use the top left corner right here to push the card down on an angle like this. And the card is simply gonna rotate sort of around that meaty part of your thumb, okay? So instead of pushing straight to the side, it's just going on an angle like this. And I always know when to stop, because the moment I see my middle finger, I'll stop because that's when I can clip the card right here and then buckle it. Okay, so again, step by step, we'll angle it down. That's when I see my middle finger. That's when I clip the card between middle finger and that part of my hand. Now, all I do now is I just apply a little bit pressure with my middle finger to buckle the card. That's the position that we end up in, okay? Now, what does my ring finger do? Basically everything. <laughs> everything to make the flick happen, which is extend. <laughs> That's it, if you can extend your ring finger, you will be able to do this technique. So we're here, we buckle, and now my ring finger right here, that corner is just gonna extend, which will allow the card to flick off the deck, okay? We don't even need a lot of pressure, we don't need a lot of power, just simply a small little action with the ring finger will cause that card to fly off the deck, okay? Now, what's beautiful about this technique is that you don't have to do anything with your wrist. No flick of the wrist, it's all in the ring finger. So you, that left hand can completely be still and the card will flick off. Now obviously you have to practice catching the card and get comfortable with the distance, but I normally have that card fly a pretty far distance, okay? So one more time, on an angle, clip, buckle, and then the ring finger does all the work to flick the card off and then try and catch the card. And then you have the technique and you can just repeat it over and over and over again. Obviously, this is a utility move, which means you can use this however you like. I very rarely, though, use it as a standalone trick like you saw in the beginning of the video. I would normally have the selection controlled uh, second to the top, so that eight is second from the top. I might throw in a quick false cut and saying, look, hopefully I find your card, do the flick, show them the wrong card, and then obviously I do the top change and change it to their card. Um, if you have a four of a kind on top of the deck, you can obviously just repeat that move over and over and catch those four cards. It's completely up to you, there are no limits, uh, but it's a beautiful move because you literally can do it in a moment's notice from mechanics grip without any sort of worry about that card not flying properly because there's no flick of the wrist, it's all in the ring finger, okay? So I uh, just wanted to mention that. Okay guys, there's one more thing I wanted to mention before I let you go, and that's the angle on how the card flies from the deck to your other hand. Now, most likely when you're performing, you will find yourself in a position where the deck is parallel to the ground like this, which means when you now execute the move, the card will sort of fly in a straight line from A to B. But if you prefer sort of a boomerang feel to it like this, and the card sort of goes high up in the air, all you have to do is just tilt your hand basically with the face of the deck 
to your spectator and now you do the same move you don't change anything you just execute the same move and you will see the cart will just fly sort of up through the air and then land in your hand so whatever you prefer you just change your hand and again you can keep your wrist still it will not change anything okay and uh, that's it it's just something I wanted to mention and now let's finish with the credits which I'm gonna be honest with you guys and this is where I need your help in the comments I don't know who to credit I've learned this almost 14 years ago on YouTube by a guy who taught this false cut and then at the end just mentioned this move as a production and he called it the ring flicker I don't know if the video is still on there I haven't found it I haven't also seen any other magician do this move obviously there's a lot of similar moves out there but this specific one I've never seen anyone else do it and every time I'm around magicians and I actually do it there's at least one or two that are curious and ask me hey what's this move can you show it to us and that's actually what led me to do this tutorial because we were in Amsterdam just a week ago and I did it in the hotel and there was a few magicians asking me what is it and I gave them the same explanation I just gave you a uh, ring flicker of some guy on YouTube so uh, if you guys know whose move this is or uh, any credit please let us know in the comments uh, that's obviously very important to us but um, that's it that's a quick five minute tutorial five ish minutes um, and I hope you enjoyed leave a like and we'll see you guys next time peace